Hello students. Today we are here with the second question. The question goes like how much positive and negative charge is there in a cup of water? So the question is asking about the amount of positive charge and amount of negative charge a cup of water can have. So when we are given cup of water there is no predetermined value of a cup of water. We can take it as 100 ml cup, we can take it as a 200 ml cup but making it a standard value we will go for standard value and that value is value will be around 250 ml okay so we are taking this cup of water is having 250 ml of water in it and equivalently this water will have a mass of 250 grams too okay this 250 ml of water which is the like unit for any liquid is equal to 250 grams of water okay so this is the mass of the water and here we are finding the molecular mass of the water when we are multiplying this molecular mass with Avogadro number we are getting the number of moles in the water water of how much water in one cup that is 250 ml so n stands denotes moles and 18 is molecular weight molecular weight of water okay and this is Na stands for Avogadro Avogadro's number which is a constant okay and this constant is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 mention here the 23 is a positive power 23 is a positive power okay so here all the numbers are well explained 250 is the amount of water in a cup 18 is the molecular mass of H2O molecule and the other thing which we uh, should know is the molecular structure of our water molecule okay molecular structure of H2O so what is H2O it's a molecular formula for water this H2O in this H is having only one electron and hence one proton similarly other H is also having one electron one proton and O is having 8 electron and hence 8 proton why the amount of electron and proton is equal is it like it is for providing the stability to the atoms okay so the total number of electrons we have and protons we have is total number of electrons and protons equals to 1 plus 1 plus 8 1 from 1 hydrogen other one from second hydrogen and 8 from oxygen so how much is the total 10 10 is the number of electrons as well as the number of protons in the entire one molecule of H2O here 10 electrons and 10 protons are for a single molecule of water not for whole 250 ml of water okay and then the positive charge we can calculate as 10 is the number of protons into number of moles here in this is the value we got for number of moles which we are substituting over here okay number of moles in 250 ml of water 
if we are calculating only for one electron or one proton we do not need to multiply it with this value but because we are trying to find a value for 250 ml of water hence we need to know the molecules number of moles in 250 ml of water number of moles number of moles in 250 ml of water and whatever amount of moles we are getting we will multiply it with the number of electrons or protons which is present in one single mole of our H2O then the charge which is stored by one single electron should be multiplied so that for these many number of electrons we can find out the amount of charge that is being acquired by one electron always remember this is extremely basic thing one electron will always have a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 similarly similarly one proton will have a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so what is the difference between it, the charge acquired by one electron and charge acquired by one proton there is no difference between the charge acquired by a proton or a electron difference is in their sign when we talk about the charge of electron we always put one negative sign before writing 1.6 they both have same magnitude of charge same magnitude of charge okay only the difference is polarity a electron polarity okay a electron have a negative polarity whereas a proton have a positive polarity so coming back to the number the positive charge amount of positive charge acquired by 250 ml of water is 1.338 into 10 to the power 7 coulombs similarly as we learned from here the, num the amount of negative charge which is being acquired by water 250 ml of water is minus 1.338 into 10 to the power 7 coulombs okay now what is the difference the magnitude is same for both let it be a proton this is for proton and this is for electron magnitude is same that is 1.338 into 10 to the power 7 coulombs but where is the difference difference is in the polarity the sign given for the electron is negative sign whereas the sign given for the proton is positive in nature okay so here ends our question